Hey friends, hope you're having a nice day and it's time to play a match at the Braxis holdout. So let's uh, uh, let's see whether we can draft a decent team here. That would be kind of neat, I think. Okay, there we go, Golden and the Haka. Both heroes are amazing wave clearers. Uh, the Haka is an amazing solo laner. So let's see what my team answers with. Uh, Vala would be really, really good. Uh, like, uh, together with Artus, you can kind of lock the enemy team down and give Vala that uh, momentum she needs to kill things. Uh, uh, while everybody else is like slowed and distracted with Artus, Vala just destroys everything. And we have Chromie. She doesn't really con contribute to wave clear too much until certain levels. Uh, like uh, when you pick up Dragon's Eye, you can one-shot waves. Uh, but until then, you are kind of only contributing to the team fight. But what she does here on Braxis is that she always keeps the enemy team low on health. So if they don't pick up a hero like um, Lucio, like Melfiren, for example, I want to say Lucio, but Lucio might not be able to handle with uh, Chromis damage if she manages to uh, always hit the same target, right? Uh, he will heal, like, Lucio excels at healing AoE groups of um, allies, uh, so he is an amazing support for a four-man rotation, right? Uh, but if you pressure only one person all the time, Lucio has kind of a little bit of a trouble keeping them alive. Uh, so that's kind of kind of neat. Okay, and they picked up Greymane and Wolfhurion, as expected. Uh, so we need now a healer and probably a solo laner. Uh, I'm thinking Rhaegar. Rhaegar is a good choice. Uh, we have dive heroes. Well, we have a dive hero and Artus. And both of them really, really benefit from ancestral healing. Because Artus likes to be in the midst of the enemy team. To get his uh, frozen tempest and everybody to slow everyone down. And uh, Rhaegar can save Artus from dying. Because that's kind of what will happen. Like if you walk into the whole enemy team as Artus, they will inevitably try to kill you. Uh, so we can prevent that from happening. And obviously we have Anubarak, he dives in, he makes a mistake, like he uses his burrow charge for an engage, finds himself again inside of the whole enemy team who tries to kill him, and we can try to save him. So I think Rhaegar was a solid choice here, and they answer it with ETC, which is good. Both teams actually have really good team comps. Um, the only, like, the only bad part about our team, I feel like, is Karami. Not because she is a bad hero, but because... I don't know how to explain it. Like, somebody like Keltas, I feel, could have been a little bit better here. Like, uh, Karami is very... As much as she has a lot of damage and a lot of uh, presence in the team fights, and she kind of has wave clear later on, uh, but... Keltas feels a little bit better, but that's just, just my opinion. Like, obviously she will do her job, she will do the damage, uh, but there you go. So let's go ahead and play the match. Okay, okay, sure. Uh, so I think I'm gonna go for the shield, uh, for the damage shield build, because we have Artus. I feel like that makes a lot of sense. So I'm gonna go for the sh damage shield build, and I will try to stay back as long as possible. Because we don't really need slows, like we already have Artus, he does his job on his own, like... He doesn't need a totem, like he can do everything on his own. Uh, so let's go ahead and pick up Electric Charge. Like later on in the game, after we get level 16 and riding, Rising Storm, Artus... I feel like that's the best build, like, if, if you have Artus and you pick up Rhaegar, just go for the Rising Storm Electric Charge. Like, it's gonna make uh, him just so much more devastating. That was, by the way, a mistake by me. Uh, I healed Vala when she was poisoned. So, like, uh, you saw that uh, her health bar being, like, uh, yellow and whatnot, right? But it wasn't really because, like, she didn't even start losing health. Uh, so I completely wasted my chain heal on trying to heal the poison, like, you know, the poison didn't kick in, like, the damage hasn't been dealt, so I kind of wasted my healing there, I could have probably saved her if I played that smarter, but at the same time, like, she shouldn't have been poisoned that much. 
And she shouldn't be overextending like that all the time. Okay, at least we are Rhaegar and we can secure kills, kind of. But uh, we are playing a little bit sloppy, I feel like. Like, Vala is taking way too much damage. Oh, they actually see me as a scouting drone. I probably should kill it. There we go. Cause that's that's annoying. Anubarak is diving in. Can we get the globe? I don't think we can get the globe. We actually got the globe. Okay, that's nice. I thought that Malfurion would go for it, especially after he uh, secured the drone there. Like that would have been an obvious an obvious decision there. But what do I know? Uh, okay, do we want to fight this? Okay, Vala stop tanking the poison, that would help. That would really, really help. Okay, Chromie is under threat by Greymane, good. Well, not good, but we can deal with that, that's kind of what I mean there. Okay, is Artus... we can... I guess the Haka wins versus Artus, I'm pretty sure he does. I'm gonna go for Feral Heart, we need Sustain, as much Sustain as possible, versus Gul'dan. Because he can just uh, put pressure the whole game, and that's something we want to uh, mitigate as much as possible. Okay, I wish I had my cleanse here, that would have been really, really helpful. I um, probably could have killed Greymane if I didn't go back for the Regen Glow, but at the same time, I felt like we were disengaging. Okay, seems like we are sustaining decently enough. I just gave uh, Gul'dan one more stack of his Echo Corruption for no reason. So that was a misplay for sure. Uh, we should like rotate. Vala should come... Oh my god, if she actually dies there, that would be so... <laughs> so bad. But it seems like our whole Zerg wave is actually alive, so we... Oh, that was beautiful by Chromie. Uh, sadly, the Haka actually saw her, like, because... Uh, when Chromie casts her dragon's uh, breast, she actually gets revealed. Uh, so the Haka basically knew uh, that she was that she was coming for him. So he could have he could time his um, burrow properly. Okay, well played. That was a really good push. We got a fort from it. All we needed. Now we just need the uh, archers to rotate bottom, and it's all gonna be fine. We don't need to pressure this anymore, I don't think. I mean, okay, so these guys, uh, the Zerg, always prioritizes heroes over structures. So if a hero is in the way before a structure, uh, Zerg will always attack the hero. Okay, I need to pick up plans. This is fine though. Okay, okay. So like, I could have used Cleanser, but I don't think that there was any threat to Anubarak uh, dying. So I decided not to. Okay, they are trapping us up top, seems like. I will probably also go for the shield at level 13. I'm not quite sure though. Okay, that was interesting. I give so like ETC was alone there, that's what what was so confusing. Like, ETC was actually alone, I don't know. Like, we could have killed him. Like, that's what confuses me, because we didn't engage him because we thought he had teammates uh, next to him, but he didn't. Like, he just chose to walk in on her own. <clears throat> oh, I have full mana. Man, I really like this uh, Feral Heart talent. So basically, the way you want to use it, Every time you tap a fountain or collect a globe, try to stay inside the wolf uh, wolf form. That way you will get the benefits of the 75% extra regeneration and you can you can stay at full mana all the time, basically. Uh, so it's a neat little little tip, tip there for you. Do I want to heal these guys? Like this um, uh, siege camps are actually really tanky on these maps. Like, I don't know why, I don't know how that's possible, because when you kill them, they are actually a lot squishy, like uh, when um, Hellbats are inside their siege camps, 
they're a lot squishier than uh, what they become after Wow, we actually... Okay. How did, did he see that? Did he, was he trying to like harass uh, Vala? And that was just weird. That was weird to me. I saw that one of my allies was dying there and I kind of panicked because I failed. Uh, like I thought it was my failure because I was trying to kill Greymane and then I saw somebody with a very low health bar escaping. I saw that I let somebody die. Which made no sense. Oh, that's dumb. Was this up for a while now? I don't think so. Should I help Artis? Uh, team? Okay, I'm on my way. I'm on my way! Okay. Oh, that's, that can be a, a juicy kill on Ray, uh, Gul'dan there. There we go. There we go, beautiful stuff. Uh, come here, come here. Okay. Okay, it's all good. It's all good. Uh, as a healer, always kind of try to ping your allies. If you are not next to them, try to ping with the movement commands where you're coming from. That way you, they can try to dodge... Um, they can try to catch up to you, like, so that you can save them. Like, don't just complain that your allies run away from you, right? Uh, try to... Try to tell them where to go to be, to, to be safe. That's always a good idea. Okay, I'm on my way, team. There we go, beautiful stuff. I like it. I mean, I was a little bit skeptical about Chromie, but since we... Like, she applies enough pressure. Like, she works. And that's what you do as Chromie. You don't you aren't necessarily a hero that will kill the enemy team, but you will surely apply a ton of pressure to them and... Uh, Make them think about every single engage they do. And if they don't think, you just you just punish them and kill them. Your team just punishes them and kills them after you apply the pressure. Okay, I panicked a little bit there about uh, Vala, but it seems to be alright. We need to get the keep though. Oh, that was a good... Oh, this Chromie! Beautiful stuff! Well done! Really well played by Chromie. That was actually amusing. Okay. Okay, we are doing it, but we should go back. Please go back. Uh, we- I don't have mana. I'm- I'm completely um. I completely um. I don't have Ancestral. Let's just- let's just go back. Okay, so I need I need to actually recall because the fountain isn't available. I'd rather have it available for like when I need it next time rather than go back to it and tap it right now. Even though we can do that and it's because of our feral heart, we would regen they can't do it. We would regen to full almost full mana. But I think it's safer to go back. So Earth Shield, not only it gives you like another way to heal your allies, it can also be used to secure Ancestral healings. Uh, like, uh, you use your ancestrals and you immediately lightning shield them and chain heal them. That way they ge get a burst of healing before ancestral procs. And that way you can... This is a bad plan. And that way you can almost guarantee your ancestral to hit. Un unless the enemy team has insane damage output. In which case it's not really your fault as a healer. Then that your allies... That was a beautiful route. That was a beautiful, beautiful route. Oh, I was completely zoned out. I couldn't... I couldn't have... Go in. Yeah, I, I couldn't have saved them. I couldn't have saved Artus. Like, there was no... pass I could have taken there. And especially after that fear went in and Artus ran away from me. Ah... Uh, Oh well. I think I'm wasting too much mana though. Yeah, let's just go back. Like we got we got a wall for free basically. So that's nice. 
obviously nice. And look at this, now we have the fountain to, uh, to regenerate it. Because we didn't use it last time. Oh, I'm always, I always loved to play Rhaegar, like, he, I always enjoyed him, like, even before it was, uh, he was considered a strong, strong healer, I, even then, I felt like he did good stuff, like, he did good, uh, like, even before his, um, damage was buffed and whatnot, I really felt like he was a good healer, that was a wasted cleanse, because, uh, his, uh, Because uh, the roots were already running out. That was actually a complete waste on my part. But I wanted him to engage uh, Greyman as fast as possible. And in the process of that I overextended. I should have died there. The only reason I survived is because of our level lead. So that was a, a, like a, a lethal mistake on my part. And uh, I should have paid for it. So now we have Rising Storm, so we can start doing really, really good. Okay. Yeah, like him. That was a good mosh pit, but nobody was there to follow it up. So it was it was a bad mosh pit because of that. Like a five man mosh pit is kind of useless when you don't have anybody to kill. Man, I love Rhaegar so much. Like, Ancestral is just such a good tool. We can just end this. Oh, I'm kind of out of mana. Give me that globe. Can we cleanse when we are in the wolf form? I don't know. I should have... I actually don't know. I don't think you can. I think it will uh, force you outside of the wolf form. Well, this was a very fast game. Call me, a good a good hero, a very good hero. <laughs> I kind of feel bad now for being skeptical. She played amazingly, amazingly well there. Good job, good job. I don't know what could have done differently. Like they had uh, they had Golden and Malfurion. They had really good tanks. Like they had top tier tanks, and they had Greymane for kill. Like I don't know. I don't know what really went wrong for them. I think it's just the decision making. Like, our tanks did also a really good job with all of their engages and whatnot. Uh, Vala was overextended, overextended a little bit too much early, but uh, we kind of compensated for that with just our sheer damage output. Like, uh, Chromie and Anubarak were punishing Greymane for when he was kill killing Vala, and uh, we were able to secure some good kills early game. I think that's what uh, gave us the advantage to win this.